gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this money. I gotta get this cash. I gotta get this money. now and then you get some dumb luck and everything will go your way <laughs> so i delivered this morning picking up at the same place i've only had it happen i've been at tmc four years i think this will probably be the second time this happened the last time i was in uh ohio and i delivered and I had to go like two miles to pick up uh insulation from owens corning but hey gotta roll with it man so i've been in pennsylvania this weekend so I was right. I said, there's a few places that we pick up at. And uh, I didn't know this was one of them. It's probably one of them things, you know, the company always, you know, sometimes you don't see the bigger picture. And sometimes you get certain loads going to certain areas because they already have you ready for a reload. Even though you don't see the pre-plan, you know, they got you set up on something. <clears throat> so I said, I'm empty in. I was putting my stuff away and I looked up. And I seen the guy where I checked in that he was like, come here. And he was just waiting for me to look up because, of course, he couldn't beat on the window. I wouldn't hear him. <laughs> He's like, did the dispatch send you a, a pickup? I said, yeah. I said, stay right there. <laughs> I'm going to load you right there. So I was like, okay, cool. You know, but now the only unknown is if I would have delivered yesterday, if I would have got the same load. Okay, because sometimes TMC sets the appointments up a certain way. So you can reload, you know, and have no issues. Sometimes, like how this worked out this time. They already knew a driver was going to be in the area and um, dispatch me on this load right here. Now, sometimes it don't always work out like that. I've delivered one place before, and the guy was like, are you picking up such and such? I was like, no, sir, I'm going somewhere else. He said, we got a pickup for TMC, but, you know, I said, I, I have no idea. I said, you know, uh, you know, logistically, Hey, they, they, they're doing it for a reason. All right. But I think, um, I think I was, I think I was going home that week or something like that. So I pretty much stayed in the area. No, I have no idea where that load was going, but sometimes you got to see the, you don't see the big picture. So this one, whenever you can go less than 30 miles to pick up is awesome. When you get to go zero miles and reload out of the same place where you deliver is even better. So like, so I'm just waiting for it to get, uh, um, uh, get loaded and go from there. Like I said, uh, this place, the reason why they say no parking, they've got a whole bunch of tow signs out here. <clears throat> Even though it's a big old area. I mean, this place is huge. It's actually huge. But um, it says no parking. So you will be towed. I mean, it's got signs everywhere. But I guess they're trying to keep it clean. But either or, the, uh, the loves is four miles down the road. You know, so I'll know for next time I'll make a note. I'll make sure I leave a, um, a review for this place. And let them know the deal. Because the other guy that was before me, he was two hours late. Now, you know you got an appointment. You might want to try your best to get to your appointment. I mean, sometimes they're flexible. Dude was real cool about it. He just said, you know, he looked on his computer like, your appointment was for six. And guy was kind of looking around like, he knew he was late because he pulled up. I pulled him behind him. And he was walking really, really fast trying to check in. So I was like, like whatever, man. But after he checked in, the guy was like, yeah, you know, your appointment was for six o'clock. So miles for eight, I got unloaded like within 30 minutes. Um, this place, like I said, had mixed reviews, but no complaints here so far. Um, yeah, man. So we're going to reload the wagon and we're Pennsylvania bound. Chocolate City, uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. No, we're going to New Holland.
right, there we go. Now it took me a little bit longer because I have nowhere to be. So ain't no big deal. So you just take your time. Everybody always, you know, give me comp compliments about uh, how do I tarp so well? One, well, you gotta take your time and you get better at the more that you do it, okay? Now, when you're doing your, trying to get, you know, get your lines even or trying to get it, you know, dress right dress or nice and neat, our tarps have a seam on the top. That seam is the middle of the tarp. So you always wanna try to get your seam down the middle of your freight. You get your seam down the middle of your freight, it should line up fairly, fairly easy. All right, now, it's like 25 degrees right now, but I'm burning up. When I burn up, I'm pretty warm. Use my coffee maker this morning. It's pretty damn tasty. <clears throat> now I'm going to uh, Pennsylvania, so I want to make sure stuff's nice and tight. Might put another bungee on that. Nice and tight. Now also, to get it tight, I tighten my straps last. So you got everything nice and snug, you do your bungees, and then you go back and you tighten your straps and that's how it gets, it gets tighter. Like so I've got nowhere to be, been here about three hours. You know, got here about eight, got unloaded at 8.30. I think they start loading me about 9.30, give or take, but still, I mean, I literally loaded and unloaded in the same spot. You can't, you can't ask for anything better than that. Okay, I'm not sure if this place has parking. Uh, whenever I stop for the night, I'll figure it out. I looked at it. It's a, it's kind of industrial, kinda. Just going by the address, but sometimes that don't mean anything. But yeah, dummy straps under the tarp. All right. Now, sometimes you can't put your straps under the tarp, and that's okay. But when you can put your straps under the tarp, especially during the winter time, you might want to do it. I had a little bit of problems this morning. I was some of my tarps. I mean, they weren't, I mean, my straps, they weren't frozen, but I guess it got wet during the wash rack and then they froze up last night a little bit. But y'all want to try to damn put your straps under the tarp if you can. Like I said, that's just my, my personal preference. Okay. But that looks pretty good there. It only took me about hour and a half i mean I was, like, I was taking my time you got some place that you're going to go they don't have fall protection so just take your freaking time home ain't going nowhere that's why it's called home okay slow is smooth smooth is fast so i got about let's see hell i pretty much got most of my drive time because like i said i parked five miles down the road so i've got most of my drive time not sure if I'm gonna park there. I probably won't. I'll probably get fairly close and shut it down uh, tonight. Let's see, it's 11:30, 10, 11. It don't matter because whenever I stop, I just do my break. So it it, it kind of really doesn't matter. But that's what that looks like. More particle board MDF. So medium density fiber board. So I don't have no idea where this is going or what they're going to do with it. All right, truck buddies. Let's roll out. All right, so here we go. We're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Now, truck stops right across the street. Man, it's a freaking... The one time I stay out, it's a damn uh, winter advisory. Now the winter advisory, ironically, where I'm delivering to is outside the winter advisory, but I drove as far as I could because there was no other, nothing else to, uh, I wasn't gonna, you know, stay in a truck for two days. So I mean, <clears throat> I always talk about making sure that you're uh, getting out your truck for at least one night. Now it's gonna be snow tomorrow. four to eight inches <laughs> so as you can see no snow funny thing about places like this 
my wife would turn her nose up to these places. I don't give a damn. 60 bucks a night. It's not the truck. Got a TV, refrigerator, microwave, shower, toilet. So all that matters. All I gotta do now, find some adult beverages. It's been an uneventful day, thank God. It's Friday, but I'm definitely surprised that um, I came this way. I was definitely not expecting to come to Pennsylvania or anywhere in the Northeast. And like I said, there, there's a damn storm warning or winter, winter advisory. <sighs> All right, truck buddies. Jerry Weekend, Airborne Truckers, signing off.